Hey, what's this? Evidence of high-level corruption in connection with illegal underland expedition. I bet this report is the key to finding out more about Balo and Kaunanduro's expedition. Wow, the plot thickens, huh? Looks like you're onto something. Yeah, I think this file might just help me find out what happened to my father. Oh, but Buana, the file is classified. That means it has been removed from the town hall archives. There's no way I can get it for you. Oh. Hmm. It says it was written by the old chief of police, Leroy Makibo. That is probably your best lead. If you find him, I bet you will find the file. Wow, you're real smart, Andy. I have my moments. I gotta find this Makigbo guy. Boat engineering rules. If you could afford buying a car with fancy wheels like these, then you can afford losing one. I'm pretty sure I got everything I wanted from the car. Beautiful! Beautiful! Hello, madam. My name is Buana. I'm trying to reach uh, Leroy McKigbo. Is this the right number? Yes. Sweet! I'm calling about a police report he wrote a long time ago. It's about the Underland. A police report? Yeah, lady. Uh, can I talk to him, please? Uh, talk to him? If you want to talk to him, you should rather call a psychic. My dear Leroy disappeared over ten years ago. So did my father, Kaunandoro. I believe there's some sort of connection between your husband and my father. Do you know if anyone wanted to see Leroy disappear? Leroy used to be the police chief here in Port Hachu, and he had many enemies. He was a diligent and honest man, always working late down at the station to keep the gangsters at bay. But then one night, he didn't return home from work. Did Leroy ever talk about an expedition to the Underland? Well, now that you mention it, he did say he was writing a report about some sort of expedition just before he disappeared. I don't know what it was about, but I remember he said he had uncovered some sort of conspiracy. You think he might have left a copy of the report at home? Oh, I don't know, dear. I never looked through his work things. The police and the power company cleared out his study soon after Leroy disappeared. The power company? Yes, there was some gentleman here from the Armando Power Company to help with the investigation. Whatever they found, they must have taken with them to their office on Chanel Road. Hold on a minute. The power company has an office here in Port Archu? Oh, I don't know, dear. The office is probably closed now that most business has moved up to St. Armando. This all happened a long time ago. 
I doubt I can be of much help to you now. Oh no, you've been very helpful, Miss Makigbo. Thank you so much. Not at all, dear. Good night. So the power company has an office right here in Port Achu. I bet that's where they hid the missing police report. I've got to get to Chanel Road. How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. Have you heard of a man named Leroy McKigbo? Huh, that was a swell guy, wasn't it, Mo? Yeah, those was the days when Leroy'd come down here and share a cigar with us small folks. He was top brass, but made us feel like we was equals, he did. You have any idea where he went? Nah. Where in the street was he bought the barnyard, if you know what I mean. But that's street talk. I don't know. About that corn. What about it? Can I have some? Get us some booze first, kid. And cigars. Right. I got to go. Hey, man. Look what I got ya. Well, I'll be damned, kid. That's some fine stuff, too. Ooh. What you got there? Wow, they're real Senor Muerte cigars. Fancy brand. Good job, kid. How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. About that corn. What about it? Can I have some? Help yourself, kid. Cool. I got to go. Hey, hey, these aren't fresh. They're all dried up and rotten. Sorry, kid. Deal's a deal. That's right, kid. Gotta honor the deal. I don't think I'll need any more corn. It's some dried up old corn. Hey Reynolds, check this out. Right on, brother. I owe you big. Can I take you somewhere? It's on the house. I'm trying to get to a place called Chanel Road. No problem, Jack. We'll be there in a tick. Hide your mamas. Ride Reynolds is back in the game. That's all for Ride. Ride Reynolds. Next stop, Chanel Road.
This is Charnel Road. Man, this place looks deserted. It's a rusty old police car. The pickup truck is holding it in place. It's a rusty old police car. The pickup truck is holding it in place. There's a control panel here that needs a key. This has got to be the entrance to the Armando Power Company office. Oh man, it's locked. There's a fat padlock chained to the gate. Guess they don't like visitors. These are some real mean biters. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Padlock, but we're going to have to amputate. It's really dark in here, man. I can't see a thing. Looks like some kind of power box. It's a steel mill. Oh man, there's not enough iron in the smelter to make a girder. I want to make my own girder. This little box has keys in it. I'll grab them. This fits. Nice. what this button here does. <laughs> I 
I always wanted to do that. Why do I always wind up having to walk over scary high things? All right, Buana. You can do it. Just close your eyes and everything will be all right. Business will get out of my town. That's funny. You act as if I don't own you. You know why I'm here. Where's the book? It's in the safe. And the woman and those two buffoons I had you lock up. They got away. You let them get away? I'm going to find them, even if I have to tear your horrible town apart, brick by brick. Deploy the troops. You can't do this! You insolent little maggot! Did you really think I'd let you take control of Port Archer? You were nothing but a puppet. Now stay out of my way, or you'll end up like Maka Buana? What are you doing here? You! You backstabbing woman! What were you doing with that policeman, Barlow? I wasn't backstabbing you, you nut! I was trying to talk my way back to the book, and I was this close to getting my hands on it when you blundered in there and blew my whole operation. I was going to come help you out of jail as soon as I'd secured the book. I still need you, and your airplane, Buana. Oh. But I thought... Well, it doesn't matter now anyways. The book is securely locked up in Club Temba, and we're going to have to try a different approach to get it back. I've been trying to dig up some dirt on this Barlow guy, and I'm pretty confident this is where we'll find it. You talking about that missing police report, right? Sounds like you've done your homework, Buana. I'm impressed. Yes, the missing file is bound to be hidden away here somewhere. Once we find that file, you'll be one step closer to finding out what happened to Count Dodo. And I'll be one step closer to getting the book back and finding out the truth behind this whole cover-up. What were you doing with Barlow anyways? I told you, I was trying to talk him into giving me the book back. The Underland seems to be a touchy subject for him. He's clearly covering something up, big time. What's in the missing file? I don't really know. All I know is that since the power company is covering it up, it's bound to contain something that they don't want us to know about. I'm hoping it's going to contain some kind of dirt on Barlow, so we can squeeze him into giving the book back. You know anything about this Makigbo guy? Well, he used to be chief of police here in Port Artu. He wrote the missing report we're looking for. Why he suddenly disappeared or where he went, I have no idea. Okay, let's find that police report. All right. You start looking through the shelves, and I'll try the computer. The 
Empower. Issue 49. 10 pro tips that will boost your career in the energy industry. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. It's a bunch of documents about the early days of the Armando Power Company. Seems like the Armando Power Company originally was a mining company. It says here they wanted to expand their operation further down into the mist, all the way down to the Underland. It only makes sense that they wanted to do more mining and earn more money. That's what companies do. But... in the Underland? And that place is just fairy tales! Besides, it wasn't allowed, was it? You've got to remember that back then, diving down through the mist wasn't illegal. Anyone could try their luck. But none of those tries ever yielded anything. None of them ever came back dead or alive. I guess the fairy tales were amazing enough to make people risk their lives again and again. Their failed attempts to reach the Underland are very interesting, but it's not the information we're looking for. We want to know what's going on down there now. We've got to find that missing police report. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Hey! Here's a newspaper cutout from the day Barlow and Count and Dodo returned from their expedition! You mean the article from the Daily Post? Yeah! I saw that. Apparently, Barlow and Count and Dodo's expedition was the first one to ever make it back alive from the Underland. An extraordinary feat that many claim to be completely bogus since they didn't have a single shred of proof to show for it. Except for a battered old book with sketches and drawings in it that the captain had written along the way. Guess which book that is? Hey, we know that book. It's the Journal of the Journey Down! That's right. In the article, Barlow claimed that they had found some kind of strange new power source in the Underland and was eager to set up research and tap into this new amazing power. But Count and Dodo apparently refused to take part of the interview altogether. That's strange. I wonder why Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about it. More importantly, what was it Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about? And how did the Armando Power Company get involved in all this? That's when things really start to get interesting. This one's empty. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Ah, here we go. A file about the setting up of the Big Power Company expedition. Really? Let me see that. Upon Barlow and Count and Dodo's return from their expedition, the Armando Power Company quickly seized the opportunity and hired Barlow as a guide for their own operation. The investment was massive. It seems the power company spent its every penny on setting up the biggest, most well-prepared venture to the Underland known to man. The only thing they couldn't buy was Count and Dodo. What? Why not? He refused. Apparently, Count and Dodo was actually jailed for refusing to join the operation, and later disappeared to no one knows where. Well, we know where he wound up. He wound up in Kingsport Bay and adopted me and Kito. But where did he go when he left us? This document is older than that. It doesn't say. Maybe the Armando Power Company caught up with him. I don't know. Caught up with him? You mean... I don't know, Buona. We're getting more questions here than answers. We need to find that missing police report. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Just boring paperwork in there. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Hey, Buona. Yeah? Check this out. Whoa! It's a safe. Buona, do you know how to pick a lock? Just stand back, lady. I got the situation under control. Nice try, Bona. Looks like we're going to have to figure out the code for this combination lock.
I messed that panel up pretty bad, huh? It's all right. The buttons are still working. This document explains everything. Mikipo details high-level corruption in Port R2 and writes about the power company threatening to silence anyone who stands in their way. Even Police Chief Mikipo himself. That explains Mikipo's mysterious disappearance and the following replacement by Barlow. You mean Mikipo was murdered by the power company? Exactly. Barlow covered his tracks well. But now we found his dirty secret. Will you follow? Uh. Step on it! Ah! Ah! They're going to knock us right off the bridge! Finally, I caught you. Let us go, you thieves! <laughs> Where's the book? Eh? Ha! You'll never lay your filthy hands on the Journal of the Journey Down. Barlow has got it locked up in the Club Temba safe. <laughs> A feeble safe is no match for us pirates. Gentlemen! We are breaking in tonight! Alright, you two. You can get out now. Thanks for the ride, man. You're lucky Madame Sisulu still has plans for you. Plans? What plans? Madame Sisulu knows everything about your research at the Agibo University. After we make our little visit to Club Demba tonight, you're going to help us use the journal. And what makes you think we'd help you? You pirates are nothing more than looters and grave robbers. But you do want to see the Underland, don't you? It's your dream, isn't it? Then you're gonna have to play by the Madam's rules. Now keep your mouths closed and stay out of our way. Come on, Buona. Let's get out of here before the police show up. Mighty Mudjagla, this place is guarded like a fort. Looks like the power company has taken over the whole place. I bet they're here for the book. It's right up there in the safe. Where? Behind the big elephant head? No, it's inside the head. The vault door leads into the VIP room. I've seen it up close. And tonight, the pirates are going to break in there and steal the book. Not if we do it first. But that's impossible. How are we ever going to get inside? Come here, I'll show you. It's the back door to Club Temba. You think we can get in this way? I'm not sure. It looks robust. Give me a minute to work my magic. I might be able to break it open. All right, I'll go search for Keto on the airplane. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 